So to verify the validity of what I'm saying in the following video, please check powerbankexpert.com on possible exploding solar generators or fires caused by generators. They can um, give you, they're supposed to be extra experts, they can give you much more information than I can. I can only tell you what I've been dealing with for, well this is my third summer for two years living in a van and what I have learned and I did do research on um, YouTube and some people say oh well it's not possible it hasn't happened and right underneath that is a house fire that was caused by a solar generator so you decide for yourself I'm just giving you places to research to verify what I'm saying see you in a minute hi I have a nice breeze so you're gonna see my hair moving yes I know it's messy but I have windows down breezes going whatever this is probably the most important video I will make in my lifetime and I hope a lot of people watch it we're gonna talk about the dangers of solar if you follow the instructions and thoroughly understand solar it's a very safe product however when we have it in our vehicle and it gets to be a hundred and four or a hundred and forty you have a problem nobody talks about this they do all these reviews on all these generators and I'm gonna do one and it gives you the same instructions that every other one gives you, except people don't seem to understand it or pay attention to it. So, of course, I've got it written down and I don't know where the book is. <laughs> so, let's talk about temperature in a van. My van has been up to 140 degrees last year. It was closed up. I didn't realize what kind of temperature it was going to reach. I had both my solar units hooked up to solar on the roof. It was directly in the sun. I kept checking on it all day and about one or two in the afternoon I went back out because I was at my son's. My hair is a mess. Um, it was 140 degrees in my van. I keep a temperature gauge in here. Every one of you, if you're living in a vehicle, you should have a temperature gauge of some sort and you need to watch it because solar has temperatures and at 104 your solar can be damaged if it's hooked up to the solar panels and it, you're running fans you're running whatever inside and the temperature gets up to 104 you are damaging your solar I damaged both my units. The big one came back fully. The little one has not quite come back as fully as it could be. So, but it was 140. You can imagine. Also, they could have caught on fire. It's quite simple. If it gets below 4 degrees cold or 104 degrees Fahrenheit, that, you know, I, I'm not sure how to say this. Um, at 104, disconnect, disconnect your panels, disconnect everything with that solar. It will discharge, but it will not charge at that temperature. It will not. They're safe until they reach 140 degrees if you have them all shut down and in storage. If your storage gets above 140 degrees, you have a problem. I'm I never see anybody when they review all of these and I find that that solar generators are perfectly safe okay they're perfectly safe but you really have to read those instructions and understand what they're saying to you and it's not as obvious as it should be and even this one in the instructions online not in the instruction book gave you the temperatures please be careful it's really serious. You must know the temperature in your van. Even if you get one of those temperature gauges that you can check on your phone, do it. 
you must know the temperature of your van. And if you're going to leave your van for a while, I would disconnect it from all the panels and everything else. Um, I disconnect mine right away. When I get to my son's, if I'm going to leave it out and I don't have any shade to cool it down, I disconnect the solar panels and I will let the fans run because it discharges without a problem. It just won't charge. And your problem comes when you're trying to charge and discharge. And I don't understand it all. I am not an expert, but I've lived with these for two years in a van. And this is what's been happening. And you really, really must, must be careful. So just understand your unit. It's perfect. Again, I want to say it's perfectly safe if you follow the rules. But if you don't pay attention and you let it get too hot, you may have a serious problem. And it could be that they catch fire. I do understand that they do catch fire. I don't understand all of, of the circumstances. But heat and cold, and if you get below four degrees, it damages your solar. You must keep the temperature at a certain level or disconnect. Disconnect everything you can from your solar unit. I'm just giving a fair warning, and I, I really feel like this is su such an important thing. And I wanted to give this before I do this review. I'm starting this review today on this generator. I'm not afraid of solar generators, and I don't want you to be afraid, but I want you to understand you have to take care of them properly. Okay, that's serious, and it's very serious. <clears throat> it really is. If I never do another video... This is really, really the most serious talk. I, please, please take care and know your temperatures inside your vehicle, no matter what vehicle it is. I'll talk to you next time. Thanks for watching. Lindy.